Hey, what's up? NLC Live. You already know who it is. Can I say that? Is that right? Anyways, if you don't, this is Caleb Pagley. I'm a pastor at New Life Church in Russellville. And today, instead of sharing the Devo from the comforts of my office, I'm going to take a page out of Tyler Tarver and act like I'm going somewhere really important while also sharing this video. When in actuality, I'm actually going to be driving in circles in the back of the church parking lot. So while I get in the car and fire this thing up, I think it's time, whew, I'm out of breath already. I think it's time for the NLC intro video. Woo, it's hot in here. Okay. All right, we're back and I'm inside of my car. Oh, and there happens to be a Bible that's open to the exact scripture that I'm going to read. That's crazy. Okay, so I'm going to be sharing out of Isaiah 54, 17. And I also need to start driving. You know, kids, it's against the law to text and drive, but they never said anything about reading and driving. <laughs> okay, anyways, uh, where am I? Oh, yeah. Isaiah 54, 17. It says, no weapon formed against you will prevail, and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. And that was out of the NIV version. So I love this scripture because it talks about a weapon forged against you. Now, if you're like me, and you were in Sunday school growing up, you learned about the armor of God. And maybe this puts two and two together, recognizing that yes, that there are weapons that have been forged against us uh, in order to keep us from ultimately what God's will and purpose is for our lives. And so when you hear the word weapon, a lot of times we think of um, swords and uh, an ax or a hatchet, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, a hatchet, I couldn't think. It's hard to drive and talk, Just drive circles in your church parking lot and talk at the same time. Anyways, but really when, when the Bible's talking about, when Isaiah's talking about weapons, I think he's actually referring to like addiction uh, or anxiety uh, or greed. Some of these things that have been, that, that can take over our hearts and our lives uh, can actually keep us from being obedient and from actually loving God and who he is. And it also talks about tongues. I don't know if you've ever had uh, your character or integrity may be challenged by other people, or you've just had somebody that's at your job or in your family who you just feel like is out to get you. And you're constantly feeling like you have to defend yourself. And really what Isaiah is saying is, is that, that God is ultimately going to defend you. When the word, when he uses the word vindication, when God says, this is vindication from me, for my people, what he's actually talking about is that he will ultimately prove that you are reasonable, right, and just. And so we need to allow God to bring justice into our lives instead of us allowing ourselves to bring such justice. Oftentimes we try to bring justice uh, to our own world instead of being patient and humble and allowing God to bring justice. Think about it. Would you rather have yourself defend you or God defend you? And then when you think about the things in your life and the sin that maybe you deal with, whether it's addiction, it's anxiety, uh, it's sexual immorality, <laughs> it's greed, uh, whatever it may be. I know there have been times in my life where I struggled with addiction and I felt like addiction has been so overwhelming that I really couldn't even see beyond. I never really thought that uh, I could overcome it. And this scripture is a reminder that there's nothing, when it says prevail, that ultimately there's nothing more powerful than the God that we serve. And so maybe today you're struggling with anxiety, you're struggling with uh, sexual immorality or addiction. Today, you're just having a bad day. There's, you feel like there's some people out to get you. This is, this is a scripture that can give you some peace uh, and that can also bring some cheerful expectancy, like the Bible says, or some joy into your life, recognizing that as long as we trust in the Lord and we allow God to bring justice to our lives, that ultimately uh, he's gonna take care of us and nothing will prevail. No tongue or weapon that has ever been formed against us. And I actually like to cross-reference these scriptures in the Old Testament. And you can actually cross-reference this scripture uh, to Romans 8, 28, where Paul says, and we know that in all things, God works to the good of those who love him. And so as long as we love God, God's gonna work everything uh, good in our favor, that every, all these weapons and 
all these different words and slander that have been used against us at the end of the day, God is going to use uh, towards our good and going to bring justice and, and and we can trust and love him in that. And so I want to take a moment as I'm driving in circles around my church parking lot here uh, to pray for you. And so let's take a moment to pray. Father, we thank you that you've given scriptures like this in the word to give us peace. Father, that when the out, when the odds are stacked against us in our lives, that ultimately we know that we can trust in you, that you've got our backs, that you're paying attention to our lives. And Father, I pray that whatever weapon is being formed or has been formed against the people that are listening to this Devo. God, that right now that you're already working to demolish it, God, that you're working in their favor. Father, I pray for peace over their anxiety. God, I pray that you would take their discouragement and they, that they would uh, walk away from this Devo feeling encouraged about your word and at the promise that God, that nothing that formed against us will prevail, that no matter what anybody says against our, t- our character or integrity, that if we trust in you, we humble ourselves, God, that ultimately uh, the world will see that we are a good, wholesome, and loving person. God, we, we rest in that. And God, we believe that what your scripture says and the promise that is spoken through it. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, pretty sure I might have ran over a squirrel. All right. God bless.